Okay, this is the procedure used after shaving the head on the Bantam. Move it to more light. You can see that the head is shaved down about a sixteenth of an inch, which because of the size of the piston and the size of the uh, combustion chamber. Uh, we got the issues with clearance because it, it, this engine uses a low dome piston. And you can just see the, uh, the dome comes up above the uh, top of the cylinder. So what I'm doing, I've cleaned off the top of the piston and I've used a marker to, to mark the edge that would interfere with the, uh, with the head. And now that I've done that, so that I don't get marks from the rest of these off the cylinder, because you see the marker is right on the cylinder as well, so we move the piston down. And we wipe that marker away. It doesn't have to be perfect because as long as it's wiped away, it's not going to make a mark. Okay. You can see that I've already done some chamfering on the edge of the combustion chamber. And that's going to give us the clearance we need. But to check to be sure, we go without the head gasket because the head gasket's going to provide about 20 thousandths clearance. But I want to be sure that when the engine gets hot and expands, that it doesn't doesn't stretch out and and, and contact the head because of course that would be a disaster. And to be sure that I've got it clamped down well, I'm going to install the head bolts. And we're going to put in on all four. And this has been repeated oh, many times. I've lost count at least 20 times. Because each time you get it a little bit better, a little bit better. All I'm looking for is the uh, that it doesn't contact the head. The piston doesn't contact the head when uh, when there's no gasket. So that once the gasket's installed, it will uh, any expansion in the connection rod and the piston. Everything else from the heat will uh, still end up with some clearance. Okay, get things snug down. They don't have to be torqued specifically, just good and snug. Okay, and then you can reach through and Kick it over. Usually you can hear if there's contact. There'll be a little ticking sound. It's very light contact, but it's more contact than you want. It may only be hitting in a couple of tiny little spots because of the uh, tools being used. I started out using a, using a file and the Dremel tool to uh, with sanding drums to take it down. And now we're proceeding a little slower using a metal scraper.
Okay. Handy tool. Find that in your bicycle shop. Yeah, of course, this little engine has do two different sized nuts on the head. I try to keep them organized so that the smaller ones go on the back. The studs are all the same size, but the, uh, the nuts themselves are a little different. Lighting system. Yeah. Uh, come on. A little fiddly getting these front ones. The fins are quite tall in the front of this engine. You can see it's not a lot of room to put your fingers in. Good. Okay. I didn't hear any ticking when I turned it over this time. So let's have a look see. And I don't know if the magnifier will show up in this. But you can see right there in the bright spot of course where you can't see it. There it is. Right there and right there. Tiny little contact marks. What I'm going to try and do is set this up so we can show you the scraper in action. Anyways, this is the tool made for scraping bearings. And it'll peel metal away. Just for here, if I can get some light on it, you'll be able to see. Hopefully, yeah, of course, right in the bright spot again. Okay, try that. You can see that little black spot right there. That's where the marker has transferred from the piston onto the head while turning it over. So, I'll just take and scrape that like that. Might as well get both of those spots while I'm at it. This tool will cut in either direction. Take a little bit more than needed. You can see how tiny the spots are getting after doing all of this. And of course, now we've got to go back and to be sure that that part is marked again. Turn the piston back up to the top. Find where I put the marker. Come on. Okay. Now, as long as there's no oil or anything like that, we should be fine. And those marks were right about here. But just to be sure. I'll go through and mark all the way around. Don't want any surprises. And now we turn it down and repeat. I'll stop that for then now. And we'll just keep playing with this head until it finally gives me the results I want. Once the once I've got clearance all the way around, because I'm only taking it down just enough that there is no uh, no contact without the gasket. And of course now we've got the gasket, and it's about twenty thousandth of an inch, maybe twenty five thousand. And that'll be uh, that'll be lots of clearance for when the engine heats up.